Hello again. Today we are introducing suffix s. You can see from this slide that when we write it or type it, suffix s doesn't look in any way different from what we have written before. The difference is in when we write it. So what is a suffix? Well, it's a letter or letters that we add at the end of a word. Some of them look pretty similar, but the meaning, the reason for adding them is slightly different. Some of them have three letters and sometimes we add more than one suffix to the end of a word. The suffix we're going to be thinking about today is suffix s. And there are two reasons for using it. The first reason is when we're talking about how many things we have. Here we have a doormat. So we would say mat and we would write mat. But if we are talking or writing about more than one, we need to add suffix s. Mats. And this would apply to any number. It could be three, it could be several. And if there were no pictures, anybody reading that word would know that there were more than one. The second reason is all to do with actions. If I was to sit on that chair, I would say, I sit. If you were to sit on that chair, I would say, you sit. But if I was talking about my cat, then I would say he sits and I would need to add suffix s. Sits. I would use suffix s if I was saying she sits or it sits. Any word that we use instead of a name, we add suffix s to the action word. Let's think about some sentences. I sit. Doesn't need suffix s because I'm just talking about me. Sam sits. I've used the cat's name, so I do need suffix s. We will be spending a little bit more time thinking about the reasons for using suffix s. And in those videos, you will be doing some writing too. Thank you for joining me.